Are you worried about what is taking place around the world? Does it even concern you? Well, it should concern you. It should concern you and your family. Are you prepared for what may be coming? We all have to do our part. We're going to cover why this is so important. I'm also going to tell you why I believe that what we need to be doing now is what is not being told to us by our own government, unlike what is taking place in other countries over in Europe at this point in time. Time. Now, what really is going on right now is a lot of these countries are all beefing up all their preparedness, all right? And they're telling their citizens that they need to be doing the same thing. They need to be preparing. But our government, for some reason, doesn't seem that it really wants to be doing that. Now, whether they are preparing or whatever is beyond our knowledge because, you know, they are going to make sure that they're taking care of themselves first and we're going to be the last ones to know if something is going to happen. Unfortunately, that is just the way the system works, it seems like nowadays. Uh, the people are the last to know if there is a major conflict or a major interest that is taking place that is going to affect our daily lives. Now, what can we do about being prepared in this point in time. We need to be stocking up on a lot of things, a lot of different things that you may already have in your own home, but you need to make sure that you do have plenty of it because we just don't know where this conflict is going to go and where the road is going to take us at this point in time. It is so very important for you and your family to make sure that you are being ready in a wide a range of different type of products. Now, besides your food, your water, your first aid kits, and all this other different stuff that we have talked about, your go bags and everything else that need to be ready on a moment's notice, you also may want to make sure that you do have a lot of different products that we're going to cover right now. Now, starting off, you may want to make sure that you probably have some type of plastic, rolls of plastic, and duct tape. Now, the reason why I say this is because if there was ever a catastrophic event that took place and we had to, say, shelter in our homes, all right, if you weren't direct contact with the whole um, blast area, as we can say, all right, and you could be part of the fallout. You want to immediately get indoors, seal off your doors as much as possible, shove towels, rags, whatever you have underneath those doors to make sure that nothing can get in. I would highly suggest, especially if you are not in a newer home, using the plastic with the duct tape and on the inside of your home, because you don't want to be going outside at this point, you want to start sealing off those windows, especially if you live in a older home. All right. This is something that for some reason our government isn't even trying to explain to us to even to put up food, water and first aid. So this is just something to help protect you from any type of a fallout if there was a catastrophic event that took place. On the other hand, you also want to make sure that you are trying to secure as much clean water as possible. Now that's where your bath buddy would come in handy, put it into your bathtub, fill that sucker up, you get a hundred gallons of water right there and fill up any containers that you have in your home while the water is still clean and drinkable and safe to use. These are just some things that you need to be really thinking about. You got to have a plan in place in case that something does happen as a catastrophic event. We just don't know what is going to be taking place. The rhetoric that is coming out of Russia is on a daily basis now. It seems like every time that uh, he opens his mouth over there, that's all he keeps talking about. Do I think that we're on the brink? 
At this point in time, I do not. But at this point in time is when you should be preparing. All the other countries over there in Europe are telling all their people, they're sending out pamphlets, they're putting it on TV, they're putting it on the radio, that people need to start making sure that they have proper, adequate supplies put up. Why is it that that isn't being done over here? Does this government think that just because we're a superpower that nothing can happen here? I think that is a total disregard of the human and the population of the respect to the people of this country. There is nothing wrong with telling the people to start to prepare. I did put a poll out on this very subject. You can go back and look at the poll and see how it is doing. My main goal is to make sure that everybody out there is prepped and ready. My main goal is to make sure that you people are aware. I am not fear-mongering anybody. I'm trying to tell you what the government isn't telling you, that all the other governments of the world is telling their own people. Why does our government see that that isn't important? I think that is very important at this point in time because we have to make sure that what is taking place we can be prepared for and that what is taking place we can survive because you see a lot of people believe that you know well if there is such a catastrophic event you know they're not they don't want to survive they don't want to uh, be around you know whatever if you're not within the kill zone all right and you're miles away from the fallout that can still get you, and that is a slow, agonizing death. I don't think anybody would really want to go through that. All right, The people that say that they don't want to live through it are the ones that want to be vaporized by the catastrophic event. On the other hand, if you look at what a lot of people out there say and the statistics on the whole matter, a lot of people will survive afterwards, and that's why you need to be prepared so you don't have to go through all the pain and suffering. You must make sure that you do have at least a 30-day supply of food and water, medical, first aid, because nobody is going to be coming out if you are in the zone of the fallout because it's just too dangerous. You won't be able to go outside. You can but it's almost a death sentence. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I wanted to bring this information to you because for some reason our government isn't and I think it's very important to get this information out at this point in time because now is the time to be prepared. So until next time folks, you all stay safe. You keep prepping and do whatever you can do to make sure that you are putting up whatever you can to get you through in a timely manner in case of something catastrophic happening in this country. I'll catch all of you on the flip side.